So it's about a girl who lives with her mother in just pre-revolutionary Russia with a gang of wolves out in the wilderness and then something happens, her mother's kidnapped and she rides a wolf across the snow to reclaim her mother and to start a revolution and on the way she gathers a lost soldier who loves ballet and a little child who wants to kick everyone in the ankles and they start a revolution. So Wolf Wilder is not a real thing, but it's based on a real thing, which is lion feraling. So I grew up in Zimbabwe and there's a place in Zimbabwe where people who have taken lion cubs to be pets discover that they're not very good pets after a few years and they maybe accidentally eat something that technically belongs to someone else, like a foot, and they're taken to be taught to be wild again, to hunt and to mistrust humans, and that is a real thing that is about trying to give back to animals what we've taken from them. And I wanted the wolf wild to be based on that, but like a snowier, darker version. And then, of course, reintroducing wolves to the wild is a real thing. In Yosemite there are wolves in the national parks, and there was an experiment done just off Scotland on an island which was overdone, overrun with a deer. And they put 50 wolves in with these hundreds of deer and came back after a few months and there were no deer and one wolf just waiting. Um, so that didn't work. But there is still talk of reintroducing wolves maybe into Wales and Scotland, which would be one. So I've been to Russia when the snow has been as high as your thigh and you wade through the snow and it's a really visceral experience but I did find it interesting that it's quite hard to recapture what it's like to be really really cold and I was writing a lot of this book while I was in Zimbabwe in the very hot sun visiting my mother so I got some cocktail ice a lump about, about as big as your thigh and wrote with my feet resting on it because Having cold feet is a really distinct experience that you can't really recreate unless you're actually experiencing it. Um, you know that feeling when you think your little toe might drop off? That was what I was trying to get back.